Hey, so here's a fun fact about Norse mythology. There is no canon. This can be hard, especially for people raised in Christianity to get their heads around, but Norse mythology has no canon, no official list of what is true. What we have is a lot of archaeology and two major works, the prose and poetic Eddas, written down centuries after the Viking Age by Christian scholars with a propensity for creative editing. These are stories of an oral tradition of which only the barest fragments really survive, and we have no idea if a woodsman in the mountains of Norway would know any of the same stories as a fisherman from the island sea of Denmark. What this means, and modern Norse pagan might get a bit miffed at me for this opinion, is that if you make up a story about the old Norse gods, Thor, Loki, Odin, or the rest of them, it is every bit as canon as the rest of them, which is to say, not at all, because there is no canon. And I think, in imagining and telling stories about these gods, even if that story is a horny MCU Loki fanfic, you participate in the oral tradition of my ancestral religion and keep some of its spirit alive in the modern day. So, go forth. And subscribe to this channel for more reactions and hot takes, or head on over to my main channel for more in-depth videos.